everybody, so today I'm doing my July favorites and to be quite honest, I'm not very happy to be doing this video because July went by so fast, way too fast, and July is my favorite month out of the entire year and it just went by like that and I'm really hoping that August goes by very, very slow because I don't want summer to end, like ever, but anyways, I discovered some really amazing products throughout the month of July and I wanted to share them with you. So we'll start off with this product and this is the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream and I'm in the shade medium and this is supposed to prime, protect, hydrate and correct. And I love this product. I've been using it every time I get ready since I bought it, which was about two, two and a half, three weeks ago, somewhere around there. But I really love it. It really just goes on so smooth and it just blends right into your skin and it just basically makes your skin look brand new and flawless, which I love. And it's very light. I mean, this is not heavy at all. It's so, so light. I mean, you can't even feel it on your face. And it has kind of like a grayish white color to it and a little bit of a gritty consistency which you know you'd think would be a little bit strange but it works really well and I just like to apply it with my fingers because that's what I feel works best and that's the way that I like to apply it. Now the only thing with this product is I don't know if you can call it a BB cream I mean it is called a BB cream but I don't really know if it's a real BB cream just because it doesn't have SPF in it and I, I mean it doesn't have any restorative properties and I don't know if it's going to help my skin improve, but you know, nonetheless, I still love it. I still think it's great. And t I mean, to me, it's basically more of like a medium to full coverage tinted moisturizer, but either way, I think it's great. So I just thought that I would mention that though. And then the next product is a brow pencil by Anastasia. And this one is in brunette. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I ran out of my MAC brow pencil and I wanted to try this one because I have the Anastasia brow powder and I really like that one so I thought that I would give the pencil a shot. And I've heard so many people say that this pencil is amazing so I thought that I would try it out for myself. So on the one end you get the pencil and this is probably the one of, if not the best, eyeliner pencils. Not eyeliner. <laughs> eyebrow pencils that I've ever used. It's so thin, so precise. You can really create like the tiniest little hair strokes so your brows don't look like Sharpies because nobody wants Sharpie brows, right? And then the other side, you get a spool so you can comb out your brows. Moving on, the next product is actually a eyeshadow palette and this one is the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette and I got this back in... June I think so I've been using it for a while now and this palette is so much fun there's so many bright colors I mean doesn't this palette just make you want to wear like neon eyes I mean it just totally inspires me to wear like loads of colors on my eyes but you can totally tell I've been using this because all of the shadows are a little bit beaten up and worn down a little bit but I actually use this today I used this shadow on my lid um, this on my upper lash line and lower lash line and then this in the outer corner just to create a really neutral but still like pretty look and I really like this look and this palette is great I mean you can create any look you want with this from you know super basic to I mean crazy crazy colorful right so if you're looking for some really nice colors I definitely recommend checking out this palette and it's super inexpensive so that's also a bonus. The next eye product is this Makeup Forever Aqua Shadow Waterproof Eyeshadow Pencil in shade 20E and they just came out with these not too long ago and I got the one in 20E like I said and this is such a gorgeous taupey bronze color. I love it and the I mean the best thing about these is you don't even need to use a primer with them because they are waterproof so you can just apply it to your lids kind of like blend it out with your finger or with a brush and it stays on all day without creasing or smudging or anything it's it's quite amazing. I also have a eyeliner that I've been loving and this is the Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio Felt Tip Liquid Liner in black and the reason why I love this product so much is the tip of the little felt tip here. It's very, very fine, so you can create the thinnest, 
most precise line. I mean, you can do little designs on the side of your eye with this because it's so precise and it's so easy to wing out your liner. I mean, this is the easiest product that I've used to wing out my liner and I just think it's a fantastic product and I'm really, really impressed with this and this is definitely something that I would repurchase again once I run out. So Maybelline has come out with some really great products recently as well. So. This is really nice. Next two products are both mascaras. This one is by CoverGirl, and this is their Lash Blast Volume. Oh, I just dropped it. Sorry, I'm just. Ignore me. Um, this product I actually had not too long. I mean, I had it last year. Not this one. Oh my goodness. I had a different one last year, and I really liked it. And then, you know, I moved on to different mascaras. And then this year I was like, you know what? I like that product. I'm going to try it out again and I love this mascara it's one of the best mascaras at the drugstore I mean the wand is so it's I mean it's a pretty big wand but it's the little bristles are very small so it's easy to coat each and every lash and this is the mascara that I'm wearing today <laughs> um, I really love it and even though it's a volumizing mascara because it's lash blast volume it still adds a lot of length to my lashes and I'm using the one in Very Black. And then the other mascara is by L'Oreal, and this is the Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black, and I had tried the non-waterproof version, and I like that one a lot too. I think that the L'Oreal mascaras are really nice, and the reason why I got this waterproof is just because I feel like during the summer, waterproof is just it's better to work with because in the heat, you know, sometimes you end up sweating and your mascara can smear or run or, you know, anything like that. So I decided to pick up a waterproof version and let me just say, I love waterproof mascaras just because they really do make it a lot easier to work with just because there's more wax in them so it's easier to comb through your lashes and it doesn't clump as much and it's, it makes my lashes crazy long and I love it but I don't use it on a day to day basis just because waterproof mascaras can dry out your eyelashes and make them brittle so you know I just use it maybe like twice a week something like that so yeah those are the two mascaras that I've been loving. I also have a contour powder that I've been loving lately. It's by MAC and it's this one right here and it's called Personal Style and you may notice that um, these two powders right here look a little bit mangled and beaten up. Uh, we had a potting incident so um, don't pay attention, it's unfortunate but life goes on. Anyways, this I've been using for contouring. Now you wouldn't think that something as light as this would work as a contour because usually when you're contouring you go for like a darker matte brown and this is matte but it's more of a lighter brown it's kind of like a beigey color and even though it's light it works for my skin tone and I'm not super fair but I'm not super tan either I'm kind of in the middle so it works really really well for me and I've been using this as a contour pretty much every time I do my makeup and I just think it's it's fantastic and something tells me it was limited edition. Some things tell me it was limited edition but I'm not entirely sure but it might be and that's what I'm wearing today. I don't know if I already said that but I also put this on the apples of my cheeks today and blended them together and that's what I'm wearing. So yeah, I love that cheek product. So I have one lip product and this is the Rouge and Love lipstick by Lancome in 377 Midnight Rose. And it looks like this, and it is a kind of bright raspberry. Oh, isn't that like incredibly gorgeous? I love this. I've been wearing this so often. It's definitely my favorite summer color. And the thing that I love about these Rouge and Love lipsticks is they're very long wearing. They are six hours, so it definitely lasts on my lips and it doesn't make them super dry throughout the day. Um, if you're wearing them for like the whole six hours, it doesn't dry out your lips. It still makes my lips feel moisturized. So I really like that and the color is just absolutely stunning and I love it. I have a candle that I cannot get enough of lately and this is by, well it's from Bath & Body Works and this is called Island Colada and I love anything that smells like coconut or pineapple or anything tropical. I just, I love that scent because I feel like I'm, if you just close your eyes and you smell it, I mean, 
it feels like you're being transported to a tropical paradise and I love that so oh my goodness this candle is just it's heaven on earth I swear it basically just smells like a tropical island except in your home unless you live on a tropical island in that case I'm very jealous of you but if you're by Bath & Body Works smell it. So those are all of my favorites from the month of July I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you're all having a fantastic start to your August and hopefully August is just as awesome as July was so I'll talk to you all very soon bye